captopril. When I say captopril, the first thing you're thinking is you're thinking P-R-I-L, pril, right? And those prils we know are ACE inhibitors, right? Angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. Okay, I really love ACE inhibitors because simply by the name of it, you're able to understand exactly what it does, where it works, and how it works. Trade name for captopril is capotin, but you're going to hear it as captopril. You're going to know automatically every time you hear, hear pril, ACE inhibitor, lisinopril, captopril, etc. Indication, the reason we give this is for hypertension, management of CHF, and decreased progression of uh, uh, diabetic neuropathy. Okay, so it helps with, with really those three things greatly. It helps with hypertension. And again, we know that our, our ACE inhibitors are going to help with our, our blood pressure, management of CHF, and decrease the progression of neuropathy with diabetes, okay? So let's talk really quickly about the RAA system, the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, or, or RAA pathway, okay? So what happens here is our kidneys are going to release renin, and that's going to cause the liver to release angiotensinogen, and that's going to kind of convert that angiotensinogen to angiotensin. And this angiotensin travels to the lungs, and within the lungs we have this enzyme. This is called angiotensin converting enzyme. Okay, so what happens is angiotensin converting enzyme takes angiotensin 1, converts it to angiotensin 2, and that causes vasoconstriction, it causes um, potassium loss, it causes uh, sodium and water resorption, okay, so it really causes kind of those three things. It's going to cause potassium to leave the system, it's going to cause sodium to stay in the system, and it's going to cause vasoconstriction, okay, with this release of aldosterone from the adrenal cortex. That's really just a, a, an incredibly simplified high-level overview of RAA system. Basically, what you need to know is angiotensin 1 goes into the um, lungs, and within the lungs there's this enzyme called angiotensin converting enzyme, which changes angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, which then allows for the release of aldosterone, which causes vasoconstriction, um, and it, it's going to cause uh, so potassium loss, sodium retention. Okay, so what we do when we give these angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, then, is within the lungs, we are inhibiting or preventing that converting enzyme from working. So we're blocking this angiotensin 1 from turning into angiotensin 2, basically. And by blocking that angiotensin um, 2 from, or that angiotensin 1 from becoming angiotensin 2, we are then blocking the entire, everything that happens beyond that, okay? So what are the three things that really kind of happen by, with, with angiotensin 2 and aldosterone? So what we have is we have, um, normally we have this potassium loss, we have vasoconstriction, and we have sodium water retention. So by blocking this, by giving this angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, this is going to lead to or prevent vasoconstriction, and it's going to cause potassium retention and sodium and water loss, okay? So that's really the kind of the things that you need to think about here, okay? So we're, we're preventing everything downstream from angiotensin 2. So by doing that, we're causing this potassium retention, and we're preventing this vaso constriction. Okay, so really what it does is just blocks conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, increases renin levels, and decreases aldosterone leading to vasodilation. Okay, so therapeutic class is antihypertensive, pharmacologic class is ACE inhibitor. One thing that you need to keep in mind here is that it can cause neutropenia, so we're going to want to monitor our, our white blood cells regularly. We want to use caution with potassium supplements and potassium sparing diuretics, like we already talked about. This is going to cause potassium retention, okay? We want to use caution with diuretic therapy. We want to administer one hour before meals to have the greatest effect. Monitor blood pressure regularly. I always tell new nurses and, and nursing students that before you give any sort of blood pressure medication, I want you to have checked the blood pressure uh, immediately before giving it, okay? Not within a few hours or anything like that, but immediately before giving it, okay? You need to administer uh, or monitor weight and fluid status. We need to monitor renal profile and monitor CBC frequently because as we talked about, we're going to be uh, manipulating our potassium and our sodium levels here. One thing to keep in mind here too, remember this is working within the lungs. And so an easy way to kind of keep this in mind is that it, uh, it can cause this dry cough, okay? 
So a patient taking uh, angiotens or uh, ACE inhibitors for the first time might experience this dry cough. We're working within the lungs, so that's an easy way to kind of remember that. Another thing is it can cause uh, first dose hypotension, so it can, they can have a, a dramatic d- decrease in their blood pressure uh, with the first dose. It can also cause rhabdomyolysis, which is really this breakdown of muscle tissue. Okay, So those are really the big things to keep in mind here about ACE inhibitors. Big things I really want you to remember are that we can have hyperkalemia. Okay, we can have first dose hypotension and we can have this dry cough. Those are the biggest things that I want you to keep in mind when you're talking about any ACE inhibitor, okay? But I wanted to give you a quick overview of the uh, RAA system and I I really want you to kind of study these medications and understand these ones really well because they're incredibly important in your work as a nurse. And as you understand this, as as you understand how this works and how it plays in with the whole RAA system, you're really going to understand blood pressure, hemodynamics, and everything much better. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast, brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to MedMasterCourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. MedMaster Course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology, never guess a med again. Go to MedMasterCourse.com, coupon code PODCAST. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing.